Welcome back. Alan Bristow joins us now for a, a pretty exciting sports day. <laughs> yes, uh, definitely been interesting. Uh, from the last time I saw mm -hmm. you here at noon, yes. uh, things have kind of changed. changed. Uh, yes, we broke the news at noon that the Cougars were looking for a new head coach. And, of course, their goal all season was to make the playoffs. And with the team sitting on the outside looking in with 26 games to go, GM Dallas Thompson decided to send a message today to his team. The only way to do that was to fire head coach Dean Clark. It seemed like business as usual for the Cougars players as they went through their usual warm-ups. But today was different. The team doesn't know who their next head coach will be for the rest of the season. With the team only winning twice in their last 12 games since the Christmas break, Dean Clark was let go. You look at everything involved and, and uh, I, don't think, uh, I don't think we were where we needed to be. Um, and certainly we need to change some things to get us there. I think everything got a little bit stale here. Having won two of their last five games, the move caught most of the players off guard. It's definitely a shock. Like you never want to see a guy go and it was really upsetting and uh, you know I wish him the best whatever he ends up but um, you know it's just shock. Everyone's kind of in awe right now so it's uh, a tough day but uh, we'll keep moving forward. It definitely is a sad day seeing him get released. You know he's uh, believed in me to be a player and brought me back up to give me a second chance and uh, it's definitely sad to see him go. Assistant coach Jason Becker will be behind the bench for Wednesday's game against Prince Albert. As for who will coach after that? We've reached out to some people. We've had some people, uh, obviously, since uh, this has happened, have contacted us here. So it's just a work in progress right now. And then will that person coach on the weekend? Yes. So definitely somebody else is coming in? Yes. Most of the players feel responsible, and no matter who the new coach is, they know they will have to step up their play. It's going to be a little bit different just because I've had Clarkie for, for three years now. So uh, having a new coach is going to mix it up a little bit. And uh, no, it's, it's kind of exciting news too just to see what kind of style he brings to the table. But uh, yeah, definitely it's a sad day to see uh, Diener go. The Cats have a media conference scheduled for Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock to announce the latest head coach.